Well, and I'm back with a patch notes video and this one is going to be for the patch 1.17 that came out today, April 9, 2013. And this patch is actually pretty hefty. There's a lot of stuff in there like there is new balance fixes, there is a couple of new skins and there is the new map that been that they've been hyping for like 10 patches ago since like 1.7, 1.07. So yes, the new map Aguion is now out. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but Aguillon, yes, Aguillon is now out, finally ready to play for everyone. If you go into Steam right now, you can instantly download it pretty quick. Or if you can't go into Steam right now, you can actually go to their YouTube website to get a glimpse on what this map really looks like and how it actually plays. So far, I played like a couple, like maybe three or four matches in there already. And my first few impressions is that it's actually a pretty good map. It's pretty... That's a pretty okay map, that's what I have to say. It's different, I think I've said that before. It's different because there's a couple of things. One, there's the invisibility orb that is available in the middle. I think it spawns like once every one and a half minutes or two minutes or so. And that invisibility orb pretty much gives you a clothing, cloaking ability until you attack. Pretty much like um, Leon's, Leon's skill, but you don't spawn a clone, you just go invisible. Which is still pretty cool. Another thing to factor here is that the top lane and the bottom lane are pretty far apart. You can actually see the middle area quite huge. Like I think the middle area is bigger than the bottom lane even though the middle area there's no turrets in there and such. But still it's actually a pretty good map. There's also a bunch of creeps in the map. I believe there are 8 in total of normal creeps compared to the other maps where they only have like 4 or something like that. So yeah, it's a pretty good map. I guess 8 creep, uh, solar uh, creep, bleh, normal bosses, no, normal bosses, not normal bosses, normal creeps is a good, a, good amount of norm, uh, a good amount of normal creeps because of the size of the map. Anyways, as I said, you guys should just check it out, log in, or you can just go to your anonymous website to check it out. Anyways, off we go. To discuss about the other stuff that is implemented in this game, we have this guy, new map, Agion. We have the new skin, Demon Scalder. So, the summoned by his Corsair's ritual, Demon Scalder has entered a realm, Chaos Falls, and his weak, Tremble Mortals, and Despair for Demon Scalder's Fury Fist of Doom are upon you. It's actually a pretty cool skin. The new skin of Demon Scalder and uh, Genji, it's actually a pretty cool skin. I can show you guys over here. This is Genji right here and Scalder. As you guys can see, Genji looks like a red mage from like Final Fantasy IX. Like if you guys play Final Fantasy IX and you guys remember Vivi, Vivi, like if you gave him a red coat or red cloak and like a red cat, it, it, that's pretty much how, how he's gonna be able to look like. But I think this is a reference to Gandalf the Great from Lord of the Rings because of the beard. Yeah, <laughs> look at that long stash and also the staff as well. I'm not sure about the blade though. Like, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't use that. And this guy, Skaldir, he actually looks like another character from FF9 in my opinion. He looks like Amarant. Amarant, if, I, if that's how you say it. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I tried um, Genji skin. I haven't tried Skaldir skin yet. I'm pretty sure it looks good. Like Genji skin is also pretty okay. Like you can clearly see the beard going around. I, I can't really see the pipe, I guess. I haven't seen it. Maybe because I wasn't really looking for it earlier, but I'm gonna check it out if I can see it. But yeah, it's actually a pretty cool skin. I'm gonna try this colder one next time. And then I'm gonna give you guys some updates. Maybe I'll upload some videos if you guys are interested to see those. Anyways, moving on. There are actually new things added as well, like new features, added, uh, added uh, a new song in the soundtrack, so they added that one. Like They basically added the Aguillon uh, song in the soundtrack, and which is actually pretty good. Then we have, you can now select map at, you can now select map and bot difficulty in private matches. This is actually a big, big change and a big thumbs up actually to Ronimo for allowing us to be able to choose the map we are going to be playing. And it's actually a pretty good thing because you can easily, easily, easily do your practices now with your teams. And also whenever you're hosting tournaments, this is another act uh, another thing that you can add up to the format. Like you can allow people to choose which map they want to play next. Like for example, if you're playing a best of three series, if, one te if team A wins the first one, team B will be able to pick the next map. And maybe if they win, 
team team A again is gonna pick the third map. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Like we had that option now. Like it's slowly getting to the point where it's becoming a little bit more competitive friendly, the game in general. So pretty good stuff. Thumbs up to Ronimo. I really really like that change in general. You can now block chat messages and taunts from other players by muting them in the game scoreboard. So this is also another good implementation by Ronimo because there's also like if I'm pretty sure you guys encounter these guys who just spam, who just press this one over and over and over and over and over again for no reason at all, just to annoy you and such. So now we can do something about that. I, you can even block chat messages, <laughs> and that's actually pretty amazing. So now it can completely block off what the opponents are saying and such. If they get on your nerve, or if your teammate gets on your nerve, you can also block them off as well. Also, that's a pretty good thing. The game now pauses players with connection problems before kicking them. In the meanwhile, trying to re-establish the connection. I haven't really experienced this yet, because I haven't seen anyone get disconnected yet. Like, I haven't played in a game where a uh, lag is an issue after this patch, because the, the map or the patch just came out a couple hours ago. So yeah, I have to try this out. But again, this is again an implementation, implementation by Ronimo that is always it is actually pretty good i have to give him a thumbs up for this again because connectivity issue is always a big deal especially when you're playing peer-to-peer -peer. so thumbs up again to your own for implementing this anyways moving on to the general fixes by the way guys i'm not gonna discuss to you guys what the character balance fixes are i'm just gonna make this video really really quick and like snappy so you guys can get in there and actually i'm gonna try to play as well and yeah Anyways, moving on. General balance. Free pills replaced with a CC reduction 40%. So this is a pretty, pretty huge change. So they basically took out the free pills, which gives you 30 HP, I believe, or no, 45 HP, something like that. And it changed it with a. Um, it pretty much gives gives it like so you're 40%. How do you explain this? I can't really explain this properly. Um, so basically, when you deb when you get a debuff, basically like a slow, it's gonna only slow you for like three seconds or two seconds. For example, if the slow is five seconds long, it's gonna only slow you for about three seconds or something like that. So yeah, it's actually pretty good. But the question is, is it like good enough to exchange something else from the utility area? It might be good for some characters, but it not, might not be good for some characters as well, so you gotta figure that out. Power Pills Light Turbo stage is lowered to 40%. That is actually a big change. There's actually a lot of big changes here in the general fixes that I'm gonna try to discuss to you guys thoroughly because these changes really matter. You gotta know these changes, and if you, go, if you don't know these changes, you're gonna be like, okay, so what's happening now? Why am I suddenly like stronger now or something? Yeah, I'm gonna explain to you guys the best way possible for me to explain it. Even though it's gonna be still pretty bad, <laughs> pardon that, but yeah. I wanna give you guys a heads up on what's happening. So yeah, power pills, light, and turbo stages lowered with 40%. So basically before, power pills, turbo, and light, they have a... Well basically, power pills, turbo has 30 health upgrade every time, every stage. So basically in general, if you max upgrade the power pulse turbo, it's going to give you like 90 HP. But now it's down to 18 HP, which is really, really hurtful because it's from like 30 to 18. That's a really big change. The price is still the same, but the factor is, you got to factor that in now in your builds. Like it's not going to be as big of a deal anymore as before because everyone's going to feel this. Everyone, like you're fighting, your teammates, they're going to feel this. You're, it's not only you. So that means you're gonna be a little bit softer as well once you get that help upgrade. Even so, it's a, there's actually one implementation that is so important that I'm gonna highlight right now. I'm gonna skip a couple, I'm gonna go back to that later. The maximum health of Vossa Knots in, in increase. Bleh, is that. Am I reading that wrong? The maximum health of Vossa Knots in increase by 3 hit points every 90 seconds with a max of 30 hit points. So every 1 minute and 30 seconds, you are going to get 3 HP added to your health bar without even doing anything. 
and I believe in about nine. No, hold on. Let me do my math right now. And in 15 minutes, there. <laughs> and in 15 minutes, you're gonna be able. 15 minutes, that right? Six minutes. So three. So yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh my god, my math is so bad. So in 15 minutes, you are gonna have a total of 30 hit points additional to your health bar. This is actually pretty interesting because this is like, this is basically kind of like the leveling system that was that is implemented in other MOBAs like in Dota and such. Even though you don't level them directly, like the more you level or the more the longer the game plays out, you're gonna get more health, which is pretty good. It's pretty much it's not really the same, but kind of have the same effect. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. But anyway, like it's actually a good thing, meaning that you, you don't really have to value your money, or you, you don't have to focus all your money and effort to just maxing out your health pills, and just allow you to buy a little bit earlier the other stuff that you wanted to buy. So basically, in the early stages, you can skip a stage of of the power pills, or po yeah, power pills, any power pills. And try to just buy another skill or something or another level under the stage for your abilities so yeah that's pretty much how I'm gonna explain it maybe someone else in the comment section can explain it please do I I would really really encourage you to get you guys to explain it and it may, maybe someone out there can understand anyways going on solar tree so instead of giving you guys 30 solar it's gonna be down to 22.5 solar per minute, so minus 25% effective. That's actually also kind of okay. I'm, I don't really mind that, but then again, I guess it's kind of balancing the effect of piggyback at solar. Yeah, Cause solar tree is really good. In my opinion, it's really good. A lot of people prefer piggyback. A lot of people prefer both. So it it really depends on your preference. But in my opinion, solar tree is pretty amazing. Pretty just helps you out. It was pretty strong before. I guess that's why it got the buff. I got some nerf right now because it was pretty good before. And it also got a price reduction to 75 solars, which is not bad. Really, really not bad at all. I I guess you can you're gonna still be able to catch up on what you spend on it. Like kind of long, like three minutes. Yeah, three minutes you can like catch up to what you spend on this, which is actually not bad. Anyways, moving on. Base health of heroes are incre increased with 15 HP. That's actually a really good change because I always felt that all heroes or most of the heroes have really low HP. They they die instantly, and with the with the subtraction of health from like other heroes before, like I remember Coco got a minus 10 health, Raylan got a minus 10 health, um, Leon I believe got a minus 10 health if I remember correctly. I think Yuri lost some 10 health as well, and now they added 15 health to everyone. Which kind of makes sense, I guess. A few smaller, so a bit, back to this. So it's pretty much the same equally. So pretty much nothing really changed. But you can still factor that in the damage burst of your opponent, your health and such. You can still add it up altogether. Few small changes in consistent collision and levels. Jump pads in A Station 4 4 have been slightly irritated to avoid head bumping into ceilings. Turrets are now better at aiming at enemies on ledges above them. So it's actually pretty good, like the AI definitely is a little bit better now for the turret so you, no one can really snipe from afar now. Maybe there is still like some instances, some areas where you can snipe the turret but I guess it's most likely less than now. Fix that the heal over time was cleansed by health packs, only damage over time is not cleansed. That's a good fix as well. Anyways, as I said, I'm gonna skip all of this. I think the only hero that didn't get a nerf or a buff here is Coco and yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's only Coco that didn't get a nerf or a buff or anything like that. I guess Ronan was already contented with Coco. I like Coco right now, she's not that bad. She's also too, not too good, but she's actually kind of hard to deal with, especially in heavy lag situations. Anyways, moving on to leagues. Starting with new season, April and May, League 2 is now half as large as it used to be. League 3 has been grown to compensate for this. So before, if you guys remember correctly, like League 2 has been like doubled in size, I believe. Which, it was actually already pretty huge before and now it has been reduced to half again. And in turn, League 3 has been increased in size, which I don't really mind at all. 
it only means that um, there's just gonna be more players in League 3 because uh, it's hard to explain but League 2 there's so much difference in skill like from high level League 2 or from high la ranking League 2 compared to the lowest ranking League 2 like there's a good amount of skill difference and I guess Ronimo felt that it needs to highlight those skill difference by cutting back on the league uh, size of League 2 not bad at all at times during the day when there are a few, pe few people playing online Leagues 1 and 9 won't join League 5 matches anymore all other leagues still search 5 leagues wide at such moments so for example League 4 players search for matches of leagues 2 to 6 at times when there are more people online a league 4 player would search in leagues 3 to 5 so that's actually a, a good fix I guess a lot of people have been complaining about this then again this is one of the things that Ronimo can really can really not not do much about just because it's not in, in their control it's in the I guess it's kind of in their control like if they make the game free to play it's gonna be a little bit easier to find matches but right now like in really really low peak really really low traffic hours like there's about 300 people playing so that's all across the world now so you can't really be picky on who you're fighting so most likely what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have lobbies that's not gonna be really, really filled unfortunately but you know it's not really in Ronimo's head as I said and as I said if it's the game's free to play it, it's gonna give us like a million players I believe for at least a hundred thousand all online at the same time which is not bad minor fixes fix the Mac version not bad that's the thing I don't really care for Mac we have two Mac users over there apparently there's a fix for you guys I'm not re gonna read that anymore anyways that is it for this patch notes if you guys have any comments suggestions violent reactions in this patch and this video please do post them down below in the comment section and let's try to talk it out this patch is pretty big and give me give me guys some feedback on what the new map again feels like to you I feel like it's okay it's pretty big but we could use big maps in this game anyways that is it for my video uh, am I forgetting something mm, oh yeah sorry for not making as much videos as I used to before compared to before I'm gonna try to make more videos um, in the next few days maybe one more awesome last videos most likely I'm gonna upload a Starcraft video as well maybe another video about another game as well so yeah that's just gonna be it's just gonna be a, a thing right now I'm gonna try to be more active I guess uploading videos and yeah sorry about that sorry about for the lack of lack of anything <laughs> that is given to you guys anyways that is it for my video hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon peace out I am out bye